It's nutrition time as we go to Hannah Rich's kitchen making coconut mushroom soba noodles. Yum yum! Hello and welcome to the Chrissy B Show. My name's Hannah and today we're going to make mushroom pasta. Now it sounds very simple but we've just got a few twists. So the first thing we're going to use is a buckwheat soap soba noodle, which is basically a gluten-free noodle. Um, you come, it comes in packs like this, so you know how many portions to use. We're going to use some white button mushrooms. You can use any type of mushrooms that you have, but these are quite nice and easy. You can get them in all your grocers and your supermarkets. Um, and then we're going to use some coconut milk. So I'm not going to use any dairy and I'm not going to use any gluten. Okay, so first of all, we're just going to chop down a red onion. Peel off the outer skin and chop as thinly as you can manage. And I'm just going to use a little bit of olive oil you can use coconut oil, you could use ghee, you could use butter if you can have dairy. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. This is nice and cracked. I'm going to use some fresh rosemary just pick off the buds off the end, it can be quite rough, make sure it's really fresh and then I'm going to add, once I can feel that heat of the oil, add my red onions. And once I start seeing that water start to bubble, I'm going to add in the buckwheat pasta. Okay, there it goes, starts to boil, so we're just going to add it in and it should very quickly start being able to go down. So your noodles are going to take about five minutes but keep an eye on them because you don't want them soggy. You want them a little al dente so that when they start to be added to the mushrooms and the hot onions, they're still gonna have a bit of heat going through them. So then take your mushrooms. I've got some button mushrooms. These are really easy and sometimes people aren't, sometimes people don't like mushrooms and so this is a really easy entry into a mushroom dish, white button mushrooms. So, I'm just going to chop them. I've given them a wash, so I don't need to um, peel them or tail them. You can if you want. Um, you could put them in a blender and really dice them down. But I'm just going to literally give them a bit of a chop like this. So with the red onions, you can now see that they're sort of being sweated down and I can really smell the the, the rosemary coming through. There we go. Make sure the mushrooms get a nice coating of olive oil and rosemary and onion and you can start to see the colour change and then you can leave them for a bit. So after about five, seven minutes of the mushrooms getting a nice coating, I'm going to start to add the coconut milk and this just gives, it sort of provides the sauce to the dish and gives it a bit of liquid but it doesn't overpower the dish. I'm just going to add it bit by bit because we want to sweat the mushrooms out again a little bit more. So my noodles are now ready, so I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to strain them. 
So now they're all strained. I'm just going to I'm just going to put a little bit of seasoning through them and a little bit of oil so they don't start sticking. Bit of black pepper. A dazzle of olive oil and give them a stir. Brilliant. And then they will be ready to add to the mushrooms. So turn your mushrooms off. And this can be a sharing dish, so you can just make a, a whole load of it and then just put the mushrooms and the onions on top like that. See the coconut going through. And then I'm just going to top it off with a little bit more fresh rosemary for a little bit of color and garnish. I'm going to add a little bit of, of mint again, just for a little bit of garnish on top. Sprinkle with some seeds. And there you have midweek mushroom pasta.